welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Thursday the 11th. Yes, Thursday the 11th, Venus enters Leo. Hey, hey. For me, that kind of screams throne, it screams red velvet, and also kind of confidence, getting out there, bit of drama. Nice. I don't know why I'm doing like a bit of a dad at the wedding dance, but it's kind of inspiring that in me as well. Excellent. Okay, we're going to have the wise dog tarot today because we don't always do dogs. And I saw two of these dogs, these, I call them lassie dogs, um, when I was going to TK Maxx, actually. Going to TK Maxx. Speaking of that, lovely Libby, who is one of our lovely long-time subscribers, you'll see about her cats on the community tab, sent me this amazing hand cream. And this, I've never found one that's this good, actually. I don't know why it's this good. You never know, do you? But just saying, that is really good. So I've just put some of that on. Thank you to Libby. That was a gorgeous surprise. And it's sunny. It's kind of sunny. We've got one of those, like, cauldron skies going on, which is saying, as we're very used to in Britain, sunny but not for long, dear. So I'm contemplating putting some towels out there you are that is my life as it stands at the moment not much is happening in the street no one's in the hotel i don't know how they keep going if no one's ever there i know or maybe they are but i just haven't seen them but i don't think so can't see much happening <coughs> the scaffolding people never came back i know do you remember when i was in that lovely place where um it looked onto the estuary the sea and then loads and loads of people just used to come to that little bit that I was in. And I did loads of people watching. I'm feeling itchy to get away somewhere for some decent people watching. So you'll be the first to know if I manage that. And I found a lovely quote from Unknown. Always the best quotes from Unknown. Whatever you chase will run away from you. You attract the right things when you know who you are. Seek wholeness, less force, more flow. I like that and it's true. I wish it wasn't. I wish the more you wanted something and the harder you kind of pushed towards it, the easier it was to get it. Because then you would know it would just be a question of effort. But no, it's not. It's something to do with, it's something to do with just getting to that point where you like it so much you drop it and that the process almost means more to you than the end goal. I know. And then the universe just hands it to you on a plate. I also have here, for those of you that are feeling lackadaisical, 32 ways to make progress. Let me know what you think of these. And by the way, the bin men are late today. Now that's drama. So that could happen in the middle of this reading. Okay, number one, wake up early. Read daily. Eat well, love yourself, judge less, be yourself, set goals, plan your day, positive attitude, have purpose, find inspiration, help others, build network, save money, automate, delegate, track finances, build a brand, fail fast, interact, learn skills. All of this is just making me not want to even get out of bed in the morning. I'm not even going to do the rest of this list. I'm only at number 23 and already I feel like I want to just bang my head on the table. Um, what do you think about that? That's just too much. That's too many things. Let's change this. 32, well, no, however many ways. Here's the bin men. They have to come down the street and then they have to reverse what is honestly a massive bin lorry. It's huge. And they have to reverse it between a lot of parked cars. Oh, that's so cute. There's a little boy across the road who wants to watch the bin men. It's very cute because when the boy was little, the boy want, loved to watch the bin men. And I actually, two things. One, I bought him Oh, this was amazing. I don't even know where I got it from. I bought him an actual 
bin lorry which had actual you know those bins and you hooked them on the back and and you could put like screwed up bits of paper in and it flung it in the back of the lorry i can't tell you how excited he was by that for ages oh this little kid's there he's got his big headphones on it's like yeah bins what is it about boys and bins um this is not always there when they grow up is it <laughs> put the bin out <laughs> You were fascinated by that when you were four. Can't get the boys to do anything. Um, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, I managed to find, uh, this is so bad, a video, a DVD of how they sort the rubbish, how they do the rubbish, how they tip the rubbish. And his fr little friend used to come round and they used to like, of course they were, legs were so small, you know, when they sit on the sofa and they're just like little kids on the sofa. Give them a load of little snacks, healthy snacks, raisins, all that kind of stuff. And then they just sit there, two boys, shoveling this stuff into their mouth, flicking raisins into their gob, watching these guys <laughs> sort through rubbish. And they were absolutely as happy as Larry. I don't think it actually gets any better than that. <clears throat> so I think my recipe for whatever it is, my 32 ways, is get out of bed. Some days, that's it. That's enough, you know. Make sure you do some stuff. That's that, that's it. Whoa, very exciting times. Amazing how they do it, actually. They're really quick, the bin men. Oh. My mother always said, look after the bin men. It's true, you've got to be good to the bin men. They take away your rubbish, literally. Oh, oh God. A lot of these bins, they haven't even got bin bags in. That one. They're just like left on the street and then people just chuck stuff in them. And that guy's emptied them. Hats off. So there you go. Get out of bed. Appreciate the bin men. And that's it. Ooh. Ooh. be great to just be really excited by the bin men <laughs> i think i should leap out onto my doorstep with some headphones on and like cheer the bin men i'm not sure they'd take it that well but okay yeah i suppose i am taking reversals okay overall energy cards this is the ten of wands i think because they don't look like swords, but they do look like wands. Um, is that a chihuahua? Now, when it comes to identifying animals, I'm probably the worst at dogs. So possibly a chihuahua. I'm a bit of a chihuahua fan, actually. Um, I love the complex they have of thinking that they are a bigger dog than they are. <laughs> and you see them like giving it loads of attitude in the park like this with some absolutely enormous dog who's sort of looking at them as if to say mm -hmm. so ten of wands i better check that actually because otherwise it's an overall energy card and i'm going to talk about a whole reading that isn't there right wands four of wands why is there not oh, oh my god the book goes from right to left and there's no pictures okay yeah well it's not swords because there's a sword card here and there's some proper swords. Oh, he's watching it all the way to the bottom of the road. Ten of Wands is actually a card which is turning a corner. So it's when a situation or something's got really stodgy and you don't want to do it anymore and you're feeling it and your body's feeling it and you're tired. You know, like I got when I was reading that list, it was just like, this is just a list. Lists can be very oppressive. You know, having too much on your list is, this, well, I, I was going to say it's as bad as having no list at all, but I'm highly in favour of having no list at all. So, yeah. Ten of Wands is when you reach a peak where it becomes too painful to stay the same. And it's necessity and it makes you do stuff. And that's good. The next card we have, God, I thought this was a cat, to be honest. Um, is another dog that I don't know. Oh, that's a lion. Strength card. 
So we've got this dog taming the lion. Um, we also have Venus going into Leo. So we've got this lovely Leo energy, actually. That's really nice. Leo rules the heart. And apart from the throne and the drama and all that glamour and all the rest of it, um, Leo rules the heart. No one loves as fiercely as a Leo loves. So I feel like this is fierce love, actually, which is also a strength. I'm liking that. So I put that with the Ten of Wands and love kind of breaks through. Now we also have, is that a Collie? I might know this one. The Eight of Cups, which is possibly a Collie dog going to cross the river. Um, and a Hummingbird down there, I think. So Eight of Cups is always, and it's Saturn. Saturn is a planet that honestly just makes me feel tired. Um, Saturn is a planet of lists and do this and obligations and it has its very healthy side because without it we'd be like a human without a skeleton you know Saturn is the structure so if there's something that isn't quite fitting into your bliss or joy or even that you even vaguely like you're going to remove yourself or at least distance yourself from that and then you get peace look at the back of these by the way don't you just love that you get peace four of swords is peace having a nap taking it easy binning the list off reading the inspirational quotes and you know i mean there's nothing more relaxing than putting the sat nav on and arguing with it well, for me anyway love doing that love doing that literally just driving around and going nope and it goes turn left I'm like <laughs> no <laughs> gotta get your kicks somehow and the chariot I love this card the chariot normally because there's two and these are I think huskies am I right two huskies possibly um I feel like they're going in the same direction. Normally they're trying to go in two different directions. I feel like actually you're becoming more channeled today where it's all going in one direction. It could all be in the direction of the sofa or whatever brings you the most peace and joy, okay? And then lastly, and I don't know what that dog is. Could also, it's not a chihuahua. I don't know. Um, but it was in the reverse and it's the five of swords, Venus and Aquarius. So Aquarius is the opposite to Leo. Venus and Aquarius is not a warm hug. Venus and Aquarius is a detached, um, and I can only say this because I have Venus and Aquarius, I think. It's more of a detached love, actually, whereas the Leo is like, ray, like that. Okay, so to recap, Oh, well, now we get the exciting times. Hang on. So we've got some girls walking up the street with plants in a bag and a bag full of booze. I think they're having a party, a booze and plants party. OK, so Ten of Wands, something becomes too sticky, too oppressive. And you get to the point where you just don't want to do it anymore. Or if it's you're just doing it out of obligation, you might want to fling it to one side. You get strength where we have the unidentified dog here taming the lion. And it's that Venus in Leo. It's a feeling of heart. If it doesn't have heart, you're going to distance yourself from it. You're going to choose peace over strife. And then we have the chariot where I think this brings you more into alignment with yourself. And we have the Venus in Aquarius, the opposite of Leo, in the reverse, the Five of Swords in the reverse. <sighs> Leave me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are on anything we've done today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.